So in this video, we're going to talk about one of the most famous and best-selling classes of drugs of all time, namely the statins. So to begin with, let's start with a discussion of the reason that statins are prescribed. So they're prescribed all over the world every single day, and the reason that they are prescribed is to lower people's cholesterol level. Now, this is going to be a video focused on clinical information rather than physiology and pharmacology, so we're not going to go into detail about the physiology of cholesterol. For our purposes, all we need to understand is that cholesterol is a lipid molecule, so it's a fatty type of molecule that is present within the blood of every single human on the planet. Now, it has a normal range, which is between 3 and 5 millimolar. Now, I apologise for my viewers that aren't in the UK, which is actually the majority of you. Um, I'm using the uh, British units for measuring cholesterol. I happen to know, for instance, that in America, different units are used. I don't know what those units are, neither do I know what the uh, normal range is within those units. So I apologise for viewers that um, use different units. But in the UK, these are the units that we use for measuring cholesterol, millimolar, and the normal range is between 3 and 5. So hopefully, if all of you had your cholesterols measured, it would be within... Uh, this range here. I actually had my cholesterol measured a few years ago. I was um, uh, I was a medical student at the time and I was at a hospital where the hospital had arranged a sort of like workplace health checkup for members of staff there and they were um, they were hosting this event in the education centre so where the medical students hang out. So I went round this event and it consisted of a bunch of stores and all the different stores had different tests that it was performing on you to assess your health and one of those stores was to measure your cholesterol level and it's actually quite amazing because nowadays you don't need to have a whole um, bottle of blood drawn off you in order to measure your cholesterol level so you don't have to have a great big needle stuck into one of your veins and a whole bottle of blood drawn off instead it can just be done with a finger prick so nowadays, meters exist just like the um, glycometers that diabetes patients use to measure their blood glucose levels. The analogous thing exists for cholesterol, so you just have to have your finger pricked, then a speck of blood is used um, to measure your cholesterol level, and the meter gives you a reading there and then. So I went to this cholesterol store, had my cholesterol measured, and it was 3.9, so mine was nicely within the normal range, and I hope that all of yours would be within the normal range also. So that's the normal range of cholesterol. However, loads of people don't have normal level cholesterol, uh, and this is a condition called hypercholesterolemia, and this is not good, and we'll talk a little bit later about why hypercholesterolemia is not good. Uh, so hypercholesterolemia is greater than 5 millimolar, uh, so just examining what this word means, hyper means too high, cholesterol obviously refers to cholesterol, and emia means within the blood, so it's not subtle at all, too high cholesterol level within the blood. So if you have a cholesterol level greater than 5 millimolar, then we can put this label on you, you have hypercholesterolemia or you are hypercholesterolemic. Uh, and this is what statins are used to treat, they are used to treat this condition, and they really do work, you know, if you're put on a good dose of a statin and you take that statin, it will drop your cholesterol level down hugely uh, within a few weeks. So usually people on a good dose of a statin, their cholesterols when measured as something like two or something like that, so really, really low. So they truly do work to lower your cholesterol level. Now, um, let's just talk about the reasons that people can end up hypercholesterolemic. So there are two major different types of hypercholesterolemia. So there is the common type of hypercholesterolemia, and most people who you see with too high cholesterol levels, it is this that is the cause. And this is idiopathic or essential hypercholesterolemia. And this is the type that older people get and uh, people with elevated BMIs get. So the two major things that contribute to this are age, and having a large amount of adipose tissue. So I'm just going to put raised BMI. Of course, 
your BMI can be raised for two reasons, either because you have a huge amount of muscle tissue or because you have a huge amount of adipose tissue. When I write high BMI here, I am using that to mean having far too much adipose tissue, so being overweight. Of course, having too much muscle isn't going to cause uh, a raise, or not to my knowledge, does it cause a raised cholesterol level. Uh, but having too much adipose tissue can lead to this. So idiopathic means that the mechanism isn't properly understood. Essential means essentially the same thing, that the mechanism isn't properly understood. So as people get older, for reasons that aren't properly understood, your cholesterol has a tendency to go too high. Um, so often, you know, if you were to sample uh, a bunch of 90-year-olds, if you were to go out and find a bunch of 90-year-olds and measure their cholesterol level, a lot of them would have far too high cholesterol levels, and this would be an example of idiopathic hypercholesterolemia. Whereas, uh, if you were to sample a bunch of 20-year-olds, most of their cholesterols would be normal. Uh, you'd hope that all of them would have normal cholesterol level because they're far too young to have developed this uh, condition, idiopathic hypercholesterolemia. The other thing that contributes to it, apart from age, and of course you can't modify age, if you're hypercholesterolemic and the only reason we can see for it is your age, then there's, uh, there's nothing that you can do to fix that. You can't reverse that risk factor. All you can do is take a statin to forcibly bring down your cholesterol. But the other way that you can end up with idiopathic hypercholesterolemia is by being overweight, and young people can end up with this. So if you see even like 20 or 30 year olds uh, who are morbidly obese, phenomenally overweight, far too much adipose tissue, uh, these people can end up hypercholesterolemic. And again, that is an example of idiopathic hypercholesterolemia. However, in this case, they can actually fix this if they lose weight, their cholesterol will normally come back down into the normal range, i.e. you can cure idiopathic hypercholesterolemia if the reason that you have it is from being overweight. So usually if we find people have too high a cholesterol level and they are overweight, we advise weight loss and we hope that potentially if they're successful in that endeavour that they will actually cure the condition. Of course, if you have a 90-year-old who is frail, extremely slim, maybe even underweight, BMI 17, because they've lost all of their muscle mass, um, you know, they're not hypercholesterolemic from too much adipose tissue, and there's nothing that you can do to try and cure that. The only thing that we can do is manually bring down their cholesterol level with a statin drug.